Hey guys, uh, Gary Lucas here. Now, to continue making our console game, we're going to work on the character class. Now, uh, our character is actually going to represent both our player and our monster. So, we're going to create some values inside of here that we're going to manipulate. So, we can create an object and name those objects like player and monster. So, uh, each one will need a name. So we're going to say uh, public care name. And we're using uh, the character because we want to be able to replace these stars with our character's name. Make sense? We're just going to do that. Now we also need to be able to figure out their X position and their Y position so we can move around on the board. So we're going to go uh, public int uh, X position and we're going to go public int Y position. Okay. Uh, we will need a couple other things, but we'll come back to those and add those when we need them. Um, so now we need to create a constructor. Okay, so we're going to go public character. And if you don't know what a constructor is, uh, it, it lets us assign attributes to our class. So whenever we create an object of our class, we can grab those attributes and assign them values that we want. So in the case of our character, we're going to have the same things that we put up here. Okay, so we're going to have a character named name, we're going to have uh, an int x position, we're going to have an int y position. Oh, did that one well, in the backwards order, there we go. Uh, now the reason why I name them the same, you can name them differently, is because I want to be able to reference these pretty easily. And one really cool thing you can do is you can actually um, just reference it like that, you can assign the values like this, this dot name which is referring to this one up here, is equal to this. Okay? Now, this might seem a little strange, but basically, this name is this one up here, and this one is this one here. Okay? So, whenever we create the object of our character, we're going to assign it a name, and then it's going to say, well, this name is equal to this one. The reason being... We're going to be creating some methods, and if we want to be able to access and manipulate that in some way, uh, we can actually just create a method and reference this one because we won't be able to reference this one. Okay? So by being able to reference this one when we create our object, by saying that this name is equal to this, we can just access this the entire time. And it'll actually change this one within our object. It, it probably doesn't really make much sense right now, but it will. So we're, we're just going to do the exact same thing uh, with uh, x position and y position. Okay, and that's our constructor. So I'm just going to sh short that down. And here we go. So let's create our methods. We, we're going to need a couple methods. Um, the very first method we're going to need is we're going to need a, a public int method called get x. And what this is going to do is it's just going to return um, our x value. So we're going to go uh, return uh, x or this dot x position. Okay. And the reason why we're doing that is we want to be able to call our object. So let's say we create a player object, uh, and we're going to say player dot get x. And what that's going to do is it's just going to figure out whatever value we put in here, and it's going to say, oh, this is your x position, okay? And we'll be able to manipulate that. So we're going to copy this because we're also going to do one for y. All right, and we're going to do one for get name. Now, this one's going to be different because it's going to be public care get name, and it's going to do this dot name. Isn't that neat? All right. So now let's shrink these all down because we don't need to look at them right now. <clears throat> and we're going to create a new one right now called character draw. So it's going to be public void. This is going to be void. It's not we're going to return any values. And we want to be able to access it wherever. We're going to call it character draw. Okay. 
and inside here we're going to access the battle board from over here and this is why we made it public so we can access it all right so we're going to say main dot battle board right and then we're going to assign the two positions and we're going to make it equal to get name so whatever name we assign here it's going to pass into whatever position we have here. And what positions do we want to have? Well, we want it to be our x position and our <laughs> y position. So now we just say get x followed by parentheses and get y followed by parentheses. Okay? So now what this does is we're going to say, hey, battle board, whenever we call this method, um, in whatever we assign our x position and our y position to be, we want you to make that value instead of being a star. We want it to be whatever we put our name as. Isn't that cool? Pretty sick. All right. So let's go back here and let's let's actually uh, see if this will work. So let's create a uh, an object of our character class and we'll just call it a player. Okay, so we need to make it static because it's going to be accessed via the main. Oh, why does it keep doing this? It's so weird. Uh, it needs to be static because we're going to be accessing it via our main method. Um, and that's all it really needs to have. So it's going to be a public or static character because it's an object of our character class. Uh, and we're going to call it player. And we're going to say it's equal to new character and then do this and it's going to give us an error and the error is because we didn't initialize our constructor so let's initialize the constructor so it's going to automatically try to assign uh, some things so I'm just going to put zero in there and for this one it wants actually a character so I don't know why it assigns zero and we're just going to say P P for player all right <clears throat> so if you go back here remember it goes in the order here so first we have a name so because it's a character it only takes one value uh, and in this case we're going to put P then it wants us to give an X position and a Y position so in this case uh, I'm just going to put 0 0 which is this position so let's try and draw that so now that we have our character we're going to want to initialize it um, in between build board and draw board so it doesn't need to be uh, between them well it kind of does uh, so we're going to do player dot uh, character draw okay and what this is gonna do is this order matters because first we're building the board we're assigning the value of all these stars to the battle board okay then we want it to draw our character so we want it to get what our character is and assign that value to whatever position we've created uh, inside of our character object in this case the player object then we want it to redraw the board, kind of. Or, in this case, draw the actual board. Because it hasn't drawn the board yet. So we're going to save, and we're going to run. And you'll see that it puts P in 0, 0. Now, we can actually, uh, for sake of m better use, um, we're actually going to uh, create some values up here. So we're going to say int, uh, or static int. I don't know if it needs to be static. We'll just say int x. Okay, and we're going to say it's equal to uh, max x board space. Okay, and why are we doing that? Why am I doing this? The reason is, is because we want to have our character down in this bottom row. And to get it down in the bottom row, we need to get the max x board space. Because remember, x is this way. So to make it max, yeah, it's going to put it here. All right, uh, and then we want uh, int y and we're going to say equal to uh, max y board space okay but then we're going to say divided by 2 now why did I do that well because the max y board space is going to be this way right so if we want to have our character in the middle it's going to be the max y board space divided by 2 pretty simple and then all we're going to do is we're going to say our character's uh, x position is equal to x, which is the max board space. It's going to be down here. 
Uh, and then we're going to have his uh, Y position be equal to Y, which should put him in the middle because it's max Y board space divided by 2. Uh, and yeah, it's going to want to be static. So we'll just do that. Okay. And then when we run, our character should be in the bottom middle. See? Perfect. Okay. And that's all we're going to do for this video. Uh, and in the next video, we're going to add some functionality to actually move around. All right. See you guys then.